Hello, and welcome back to the How You Move series, sponsored by HSS. I'm Rob DiGiacomo, and I oversee the Sports Rehabilitation and Performance Programs at HSS. I'm joined by two of our HSS physicians, as well as a local star athlete. And today our focus is going to be on LCL injuries and the recovery from them. Let me let my panel introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Mia Mascone. I go to Irvington High School, and I play volleyball, basketball, and lacrosse. I'm Siobhan Doyle. I'm a pediatric orthopedic surgeon at HSS. And I'm Andy Pearl. I'm also a orthopedic surgeon at HSS, specializing in sports medicine. I'm one of the team physicians for the New York Mets, and I'm medical director here at HSS Westchester. Mia, is there any one sport you like more than another? Um, I have to say my favorite is lacrosse. I think it's just a complete sport. Um, I think it's a sport for anyone if you're willing to put in the work, and that's what I've really gravitated towards. You suffered a knee injury, yeah. the unfun part, really. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that and tell us a little bit how the, you know, what happened after that. Um, well, I tore my LCL playing basketball in the opening game of our season, of our 2017-18 season. I didn't think anything of it at first, and then I went to get an MRI after it really began to bother me after like two weeks of injuring it. Um, it came back saying that I tore my LCL, only a partial tear, I believe. Um, and from there on, I had to stop playing all my sports and start rehabilitating. Okay. And Dr. Doyle, you saw Mia right after that. And so how did you approach her injury and in, in the management of it? Right. So after evaluating Mia and realizing that she goes from zero to 90 in a heartbeat and she was definitely not at her best and the fact that she would even come into the office to have me take a look at her was alarming. So after examining her and getting the MRI we realized that she did have this partial tear which was luckily outside of the knee joint so it was able to uh, heal up with time and bracing and physical therapy so she didn't end up needing surgical intervention which was great. Talked about the rehab process itself and then you know, as you've gone through your recovery and returning? So at the beginning, I really just did physical therapy. I would do a lot of th work with bands, just basic range of motion. And then once I got stronger and um, cleared for more activity, I was able to do more with my physical therapist and eventually um, work with HSS. Dr. Pearl, you manage a lot of young athletes with knee injuries and and some of the things that's been in her recovery. Can you give us a little perspective on what you've been seeing with young athletes? Sure. Mia, in some ways, was lucky um, because she had a non-operative knee injury. Um, unfortunately, ACL injuries in particular are very common, particularly in adolescent girls. So 5% of girls who play varsity athletics will sustain an ACL injury. Um, particularly for girls, it's a very high-risk type of scenario for people who play cutting sports like lacrosse or volleyball. Um, and so we don't really know exactly why that is, but the, we're starting to figure it out. And what we're realizing is that the way people land and the strategies that they use to land and cut can put people at risk. And particularly girls in high school are often at risk because of the ways that they move and they land. We can assess that. We can do screening type of maneuvers, like the quality, uh, the quantitative movement assessment that you did. And we can really understand how you move and what strategies that you're using that might put you at risk. And I think that's an important thing that we've learned as a group is that surgery alone or medical management, physical therapy are not enough. It's, it's this next level of strengthening and conditioning and being able to identify these deficits beforehand so that we can prevent people and then give activities and strengthening and different kinds of programming so that we can prevent further injuries. That's really what our next contemporary move is in this space, so it's really exciting. And that concludes this episode of the How You Move series brought to you by HSS. Thank you for joining us. See you again soon.